what are coterminal angles? It gets so many students and I really want to help you out so you can always remember coterminal angles. I'm not going to give you some little funny little jittery, oh, remember coterminal angles like this. No, I just want to go through the definition and just try to show you how important it is to remember and be able to utilize and understand what coterminal angles are. So I'm just going to write a, uh, a definition. Remember, coterminal angles have dot, 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 the same initial and terminal sides. Now, sorry about my writing. One thing my students did say is I need to work on my calligraphy uh, when writing down my notes. My bad, I'm just trying to write this up as quickly as possible. So let's remember what exactly initial and terminal sides are. So I'm gonna go and use standard form of an angle. I'm gonna draw a Cartesian coordinate system here. And remember, our initial side is always gonna lie on our x-axis, so we say initial. And let's just do our terminal side here. Let's do a standard kind of angle. So that's gonna be your terminal side. So what this means is my angle is gonna start here and end there in the positive direction. Is that, however, the only way I can draw an angle between here and here? And the answer is obviously no, right? I can obviously go in the other direction. Why can't this still be my initial side and this be my terminal side, but I now just go in the negative direction? And guess what? You can do that. That's perfectly fine. The next thing is, why do you have to stop here? Why can't you create an angle that goes here, but then keeps on going around, right? There's nothing stopping you. So when creating an initial and a terminal side, the best ways I can do this is, is tell you, a lot of times you're gonna create a positive and a negative coterminal angle because I'll get to the reason why in just a second. But ways to find coterminal angles, really what I'm doing is if I go from here to here and then I go around a whole revolution of a circle again, you notice I'm going around two pi, all right? And the same thing. If I have my angle from here to here, but I want to measure this angle going back, or I want to subtract this part, I can subtract 2 pi. So in finding coterminal angles, you're either adding 2 pi or subtracting 2 pi. So to find coterminal angles, all you do is you take your angle theta and add 2 pi, or you take your angle theta and you subtract 2 pi. Now it all depends on what if your angle is negative or positive, you know, which one is going to produce a negative um, version and which one's going to produce a positive version. But to find coterminal angles, that's all you got to do. Add 2 pi and subtract 2 pi. Now, sometimes you might have an angle though that already is, you know, over larger than 2 pi. So it's important for you guys to know that coterminal angles though, just don't stop. There's not like two coterminal angles, not just like one in the negative direction and one that is a greater than 360 degrees or greater than 2 pi. Because guess what? I can keep on going around, right? I could add 2 pi again, add 2 pi again, add 2 pi again, right? Add 2 pi again. So you can keep on going around there. So if it asks you to find you know, a positive and a negative coterminal angle, if you need to keep on adding, adding, adding 2 pi until you get a positive, well, then that's what you need to do. But remember, you have infinite many coterminal angles because let's look at it. Let's say I had to subtract 2 pi to get to here. Well, guess what? I can subtract 2 pi again, subtract 2 pi again, subtract 2 pi again. So if you need to keep on subtracting 2 pi to get a negative coterminal angle, then do that. So that's why in the book, we a lot, of, a lot of times we like to ask you, just give us one positive and give us one negative. Because there's infinite many coterminal angles, we just want an example of one or the other. So to get that, you gotta make sure you either add two pi or are subtracting two pi from your angle. That's coterminal angles, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, have questions or comments, make it below, thanks.